Brooklyn. In the movie Wake Island, he was the Brooklyn Marine. In Abroad with Two Yanks, he's Biff the Private. But tonight, he's just another American citizen looking forward to good old Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, and I got plenty to be thankful for. This year, our family's going to have a turkey filled with chestnut. When I was a kid, we had a chestnut filled with turkey. <laughs> the American Meat Institute presents William Bendix in the Life of Riley. And later, during our show, we'll have a special visit from your favorite Hollywood correspondent, Jimmy Fiddler. <laughs> On behalf of all those engaged in supplying meat to the nation, the American Meat Institute presents The Life of Riley with William Bendix as Riley. The Rileys have just witnessed a performance of a Thanksgiving play at the high school, and right now they're waiting for their daughter Babs outside the stage door. Why, I thought the play was fine, especially the way Babs played Priscilla. Yeah. Yeah, Babs was good. And I got a laugh when Captain Miles Standish's beard fell off. <laughs> Boy, was his face nude. <laughs> oh, if I was Priscilla, I'd sooner marry Miles Standish than Elmer Gillis. But the Gillis boy was playing John Alden. She had to marry him. That's history. Now, wait a minute. If they were so stuck on getting history into it, answer me this. Where was Nathan Hale? <laughs> Nathan Hale wasn't a pilgrim. Prop, you're all mixed up. Junior, a little respect, please. <laughs> I know history, too. Nathan Hale was the fellow who said, I regret that I have but one wife to give to my country. <laughs> right. Uh, if you see any of Babs' teachers, don't talk history with them. Uh, believe me, that play wasn't history. And that Elmer wasn't a pilgrim. <laughs> he was a grim pill. <laughs> <laughs> what an actor. <laughs> He ain't got enough life in him to play a dead body, that guy. Oh, shh, quiet, uh, Riley. Huh? Here's Elmer's father. Well, 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 if it ain't the Riley. Oh, hello, Gillis. I was just saying how your boy Elmer played John Alden. Great! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And whatever you've been saying about my boy Elmer's acting goes double for your daughter, Babs. Well, uh... Oh. Oh, dear. Those pilgrims sure lived in romantic days. Sometimes I wish we'd been born in those days. If we had, we'd be pretty old by now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suppose you might have married Captain Miles Standish instead of me, huh, Peg? Well, it depends, Riley. You think you could have kept us some fresh turkeys like John Alden kept Priscilla? Well, sure. I know how to shoot a gun. Remember the time we had a shooting match down at Cohen's farm? Didn't I shoot the cigar right out of Muley Durkin's mouth? Well, sure you did. But the target was a tin can on a fence. Was it? <laughs> oh, yes, Riley. If I was a turkey, I wouldn't be worried when you came around. Well, there's a woman's logic for you. Look, Peg, we're married, ain't we? If you was a turkey, I'd be a turkey, too. And turkeys don't go around shooting each other. <laughs> now, you take me, Riley. Every year, I go up to Antelope Valley. I shoot a gobbler for Thanksgiving. Oh, you do? Well, sure. Ask my wife. You hear that, Riley? What he can do, I can do. Huh? Well, sure you can. Just the same. I'm getting our turkey from Jake's Market. Now, listen. Hey, Peg, where are you going? Oh, I'll be right back. I'm just going inside to see what's keeping back. Oh, wait a minute. I'll go with you, Mom. Uh, look, Gillis. What's the idea of tearing me down in front of my wife? Telling them cock and bullet stories about shooting turkeys, huh? Well, it's true. If I'm lying, may I never see my landlord again. <laughs> I still don't believe you. On the level, Riley. See, every Thanksgiving up in Antelope Valley, they have a big takey shoot. The best ten scores win a takey. It's only a dollar a try. And with five dollars, you're sure to win one. Oh, I, I can win a turkey at a shooting match, huh? Well, sure, it's a cinch. And Digger Odell, the undertaker, he'd lend you his cabin he's got up there. Well, that'd be perfect. But look, supposing a guy, uh, naming no names, but supposing this guy couldn't shoot so good and he wanted to show his wife he was a good shot, suppose this guy loses in the match. Uh. Well, uh, I know one man, uh. again, naming no names, no, no, but yes. uh, he happens to be my children's father. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, if he loses in the shoot, he buys a turkey from some guy who wins. 
Oh, I get it, Gillis. Yeah. Well, the first thing tomorrow, I'm seeing Digger O'Dell and talking turkey. <laughs> Digger, glad I found you home. How's my favorite undertaker? Glad to see you, Riley. You're looking fine. Very natural. I feel good. Say, Digger, I got a favor to ask you about Thanksgiving. Ah, oh, Thanksgiving. Roast turkey, cranberry sauce, gravy. <laughs> I adore Thanksgiving. It's so gay. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I, I want to prove to my wife that I'm a good shot, so could I borrow your place up in Antelope Valley this Thanksgiving, please? Huh? Certainly, Riley. Ah. Glad to be of help in your hour of need. <laughs> in my profession, we have a slogan. The good that you do to people will come back to you in the end. <laughs> And so will the people. <laughs> Riley, you'll enjoy my ranch. Ranch? Say, how big is this place of yours? It's a mile long by 15 feet wide. <laughs> the land used to belong to a railroad, but they moved over to straighten the track. Well, that's a, that's a kind of an odd shape, though, isn't it? It's yes, a... long and narrow. But very comfortable. Yes, <laughs> Personally, I adore it. The wide open spaces, the bracing air, the smell of wood smoke to sharpen the appetite. It makes you feel so alive. <laughs> well, I, I, I gotta be going, and uh, thanks for everything, Digger. Cheerio, Riley. Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie. Well, since you asked me, Riley, I think spending Thanksgiving in the woods is silly. But you love Digger's Ranch. The house is filled with wide open spaces. You, you've got to brace yourself against the fresh air because, because your lungs are filled with wood smoke. And it, it makes you feel as if you were alive. Well... Maybe, but I still think we better stay home on Thanksgiving. Oh, nothing doing. I'm going to make you take back what you said about me being a bad shot. I'm going to win at that shooting match. Oh, well, I don't mind going, but couldn't we buy a turkey and bring it up there? You know, just in case. Now, stop worrying, Peg. I guarantee to bring in a turkey. If I don't, I'll eat my hat. Save the crown for me, Pop. Junior. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello, Riley. I'm glad I got you in time. Uh, this is Gillis. Well, hurry up, Gillis. We're just leaving for the woods. The family's outside waiting for me. Oh, I got bad news, Riley. Huh? I just heard that the tanky chute's been called off. Huh? They can't do this to me. What am I going to do now? Call the trip off. I can't back out now. I, I've been bragging so much about what a good shot I am. If, if I don't win a turkey, I'm a dead duck. Hurry up, I'm coming. But I got to go now, Gillis. Maybe I'll think of something on my way to the station. Riley, who's that on the phone? Uh, uh, Gillis. Oh, is anything wrong? Uh, no, no, no. Well, then why are you looking so gloomy? Well, Gillis was just telling me about a nice family he knows that may be without a turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> In a moment, we'll find out if Riley can wriggle out of his dilemma. But right now, this is Ken Niles, your Minute Man for Meat. And my Minute's Worth tonight is on this question. What can you do about the cuts of meat you can't get these war days? And the answer is, you braise the cuts of beef you do get. You see, our government is taking a big part of beef steaks and beef roasts these days to feed our fighters. So, a lot of the beef left for us on the home front is what we call the braising cut. They're lean, and you must prepare them a little more thoroughly if you want to serve them at their best. So, the American Meat Institute recommends braising. 
Now, braising is a little like roasting, and it's a little like frying. It's accomplished through low heat over a longer time and on top of the stove. You pan brown your short ribs or flank steak or pot roast or whatever you're braising. You add liquid, put on the cover, and let her braise. And boy, oh boy, braised beef. Brown, glistening, drenched with gravy, tender though lean, is something to kiss your cook about. So, ladies, if you're hungry for kisses or compliments or just plain hungry, braise that beef. Remember, the braising cuts of beef are rich in proteins of highest quality, just as all cuts of meat. All meat is a yardstick of protein foods because all meat measures up to every protein need. Well, it's Thanksgiving morning, and the Rileys are at Digger O'Dell's cabin in the woods. Riley, determined to keep up his big bluff that his shooting skill will get him a turkey, is tramping through the woods, gun in hand, with Junior. Junior, I don't know why you had to come along. You're, you're going to make me nervous when I'm, when I'm aiming at the target. Well, I'm sticking with you, Pop. I want to see how you do in that shooting match. Hmm. Don't even trust your own father. Hey, Pop, what? you said the turkey shoot was being held near Hooper Falls. We're going the wrong way. Look, there's a station. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, Junior, look, uh, we we got to have a father and son talk. It's time you you knew something. I I can't put it off any longer. Oh, you mean you're going to tell me about the bees and the flowers? <laughs> Now, now, Junior, uh, 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 about the birds. One particular bird, a turkey. Look, Junior, we always been good friends. With us, it's been one for all and every man for himself. <laughs> it's always going to be that way, right? Okay, Pop. What is it you don't want me to tell Mom? <laughs> well, you don't have to be so brunt. But you see, the... The turkey shoot was called off. You mean we aren't going to have a turkey? Well, it looked that way at first, but just before we got on the train, I got a big idea. I phoned Jake's meat market from the depot, and I fixed it with Jake to ship a turkey up here on the morning train. Now I pick it up at the station and tell your mother I wanted it at the turkey shoot. Ha, 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 what a rib. <laughs> what a fib. <laughs> well, after we're all full of turkey, I'm... Going to tell the truth. Oh, here's the station, Pop. Oh, yeah. Gosh, I don't see it outside, and the station's locked. Well, somebody's got to be here. How am I going to get my turkey? Wait. 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 Here's a note on the window here. Closed today. Closed? No, they, they can't do this to me. Oh, Pop, now we ain't going to have any turkey, and it's Thanksgiving. Thanks, Junior, for keeping me informed. <laughs> Oh, well, Pop, let's go home. Oh, Junior, I, I can't go home without a turkey, so so now I'm, I'm really going hunting. But, Pop, there's no turkeys in these woods. Well, there's other games to hunt. There's, there's deer. Deer? But we'll never get it home. A deer's too big. Well, all right, then. I, I, I'll shoot a rabbit. They're, they're smaller. <laughs> oh, you couldn't shoot a rabbit. They're too fast. Yeah, well, then keep your eye open for a turtle. <laughs> Gosh, turtle. Well, I, I heard it's very tasty. We can have turtle drumsticks and stuff the shell with chestnuts. Come on. We can... <laughs> well, if you ask me, we're on a wild goose chase. Well, if we get a wild goose, that's better than nothing. Come on. Let's... <laughs> We've been walking for four hours, and here we are, back at the train track. Yeah. My feet would give their right arm to get out of my shoes. Junior. What? Did you ever hear of a mirage that looked like a turkey? No, Pop. Then look where I'm pointing. And if you see what I see, I'm going to shoot. It's a bird, okay, Pop. 
Listen. It's a turkey. A big gobbler. Junior, stand back. I, I'm taking aim. Pop, Pop, you're yes. shaking. Should yes. I hold a gun still? No, you better go hold the turkey. No. <laughs> no. No, stay here. Get behind me, Junior. Oh, uh, let me shoot it, Pop. No, no. Look out now. I got a bead on him. I see him under the gun sight. Pop, Pop, he's coming toward us. I won't shoot till I see the white meat of his eye. One, two. You missed him. I couldn't have missed. Well, open your eyes and look. Oh, he's still coming at you, Pop. I'll, I'll, I'll get him this time. Pick him up, Junior. You didn't even touch him. <laughs> uh, now he's running toward us. Junior, he's surrendering. He knows when he's licked. <laughs> what the... Uh, Gosh, Pop. Uh, I think he likes you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shoot no bird that gives himself up, can I? <laughs> Now, go, 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 go away, Turkey. Shoot. Right. Turkey, stop trying to kiss me. Go on. Hey, Pop, look. There's a tag on his leg. Well, read it. Let's see. My name is Sultan. I belong to Patty Kane, age seven. Please do not feed me. Feed him? I wanted him to feed me. Gosh, what a Thanksgiving. No turkey. Well, it ain't right. I'm a law-abiding man. Don't I do my work? Don't I buy war bonds? Don't I let the government withhold my tax? <laughs> and I have to go without turkey on Thanksgiving. That ain't right. <laughs> Boy, that cabin sure looks good, don't it, Pop? Yeah. Well, I gotta go in and explain to your mother about no turkey. This is what I get for trying to be a smart aleck. Huh? Here it goes. Riley, Junior, where have you been? Bob, Peg, I've been thinking. Why don't we all go on a diet hmm? starting today? A, a foodless diet. Well, we can talk about it after dinner. Meanwhile, the turkey's getting cold. I think we're. Uh, uh, did you say turkey? Of course, turkey. The dining room on the table. Turkey? Gosh, Junior, look, what a turkey. Oh, oh Mom, did you shoot it? Yeah, Peg, how, uh, who, uh, when, uh, That was some uh, joke you played on us, Riley, you clever thing. Hmm. Station master said you had it shipped up here from town, and he knew we'd want it today. Brought it here himself. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that ironical? <laughs> hey, Bob, um, your neck's getting red. <laughs> that sunburn left over from last summer, Junior. Well, dinner's ready, Daddy. Okay, folks, grab your chairs. Every man for himself. Come on, pull him up there. Ah. Oh, it looks delicious. Start carving, Pop. Okay, let me have that carving knife. Dr. Riley wanted in surgery. <laughs> Folks, just to make sure everybody gets enough turkey, I'm going to give you your second helpings first. <laughs> we... oh, Riley. Uh, huh? Haven't you forgotten something? Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. Hmm. <clears throat> well, uh, here it is. Uh, another Thanksgiving day. And we have plenty to thank you for. For our food and for our work that earns it, and, and most of all, for all of us being here together. Some families are pretty far apart today. If, if, if you could see your way clear to bring them back together again pretty soon now, we, we'd be mighty grateful for that, too. We thank you for letting us live in a country where there'll always be a Thanksgiving day, and, and if you help us, well... We'll do all we can so that someday there won't be any place in the world where people can't live in peace with each other. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Riley will be back in a moment with your favorite Hollywood correspondent, Jimmy Fiddler. And remember, folks, all meats, regardless of cut or kind, has the right kind of proteins to build and rebuild body tissues. That's what makes meat a yardstick of protein foods. It measures up to every protein need. And may I add, the nutritional statements just made about meat are accepted by the Council on Foods and Nutrition of the American Medical Association. Attaboy, Ken. Folks... This is Bill Bendix welcoming Jimmy Fiddler, who has a special, special message for us. So, Jimmy, on behalf of all the rallies, welcome. Our microphone is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Thanksgiving Day is almost here. Perhaps if you have loved ones overseas and if there'll be empty chairs at your table on Thanksgiving, you may think you haven't much for which to be grateful. Perhaps food rationing, gas rationing, shortages here and shortages there, have aggravated you. If that's true, open your minds and your hearts. We Americans have plenty to be thankful for. We can be thankful that we have freedom of the speech. We can be th- grateful for free press, for free, free screen and radio, freedom of to worship God as we wish, thankful that we can laugh and can speak our minds without fear, that we can say no and not be forced to say yes at the point of a bayonet like the people of Germany and Japan. We can be thankful that our cities and homes haven't been bombed, that our babies haven't gone hungry. We can be thankful that the men who lead us today are now determined that there shall be no more wars, no more death and tragedy and famine. Let's protect this magnificent freedom and prove our thanks by buying war bonds, buying them till our pocketbooks are pinched. Good night. The Life of Riley, starring William Bendix and sponsored by the American Meat Institute, next week at this same time. This is the Blue Network.